In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is the day that the Lord has made. The, um, the, the feast that we celebrate today is this encounter between uh, Simeon and a baby. Uh, it's not just, you know, but that's, you know, he, he was the, the, the major, leisurely significant point in this feast, the fact that when Simeon looked at a, you know, you look at him, you know, that's what, you, you know, oh, he looks like his dad, right? He's got his nose, or he's got this person's, I've got, you know, Simeon looked at a bit and said, everything that on the prop, I, I of any way, and says that, that's just like this. Oh, if you, if you go, go to, you know, uh, you know, in the heart, you know, and, and you're laying there because mommy's rest, you know, you see that little nursery, see, stays one day. Yeah. Understand that. And yet Simeon, and remember that this is the temp constantly offs being made, made on behalf of babies coming to be circled. Their, their mothers has come for their 40 days, which is what not Jesus was there. We were come, we we're coming, Anaya, which is, is the place she had her. And at that time, that custom comes from where we get this custom, you know, how, oh, you know, I punish you by staying home a month in a, in a week. It's not what this is about. This is, we're fine, you know, have this up um, on our walls and the, per the person of punishment. Because they, we don't have to follow the custom of the law and find ourselves mimicking the life of Christ, doing what he did, the way he did it, as much as we can. And, you know, you can get into the, the, um, uh, and medicinal medicinal effects of other free from uh, you know uh, you know it's building it's immune science you know those things there are but before we knew any of those things God because he human body or we body, and only in those things that hey whether to stay you know, hey, you know go go figure God knew something God knew something he did <laughs> you know nevertheless so was there with some there with some you know with who at that point Opted father, right? He became right. He became the adult because that's where she belonged at that moment. Mary was not, so it was joke. So it was joke, and it wasn't his son. He, but it be, and so not the biological father, but still the adopted father of Jesus, miracle mother of, of Jesus, bringing their child as Mary is coming to the temple. Simeon sees this child, pronounces that. I'm sorry, time out. Child, and idea yeah, doesn't say that. Walked right up to her, you know, we, yeah, that's a world, you know, we, we call that whatever. No, she an old, and, and if you read, you read the Cynic Society, more than one sentence with the child of Christ. So here, here's an old man walking up to, I know that I uh, feel comfortable with a person that's more than, hey, you know, sit down for a second, May, they not, then I'll give them to you. Mr. Christ, and pr pronounced the, the law, and this is, this is, to know that it's important there's a twofold re reason uh said the words that he said Nina polista gumus with us with that right the the, the the uh master now let your servant depart in peace according to your world reason and the church church ignore okay and the reason words one because he had promised in taste death until he fulfilled one okay and we see that the church gives a nod to that how we do our ortho service. If we went to the ortho service, right, and we were listening to the to the hymn, right? You've heard this. You've heard this. This is this is the you're gonna hear it again in the liturgy. Because we're gonna chant it instead of Axion Esteem. You're gonna hear it again. That hymn, what does it sound like? What does it sound like? Macaria e o dosi pora visi meron, right? Isn't that the same hymn? Isn't it the same uh, uh, the melody? It's the church. And when do we chant this? At funerals. We chant this hymn at funerals. And so the church is acknowledging the fact that this hymn, that this feast, that these words, that Simeon, in, in fact, at that point, had a life fulfilled because the scripture and because the Holy Spirit kept his word. God kept his word to Simeon. And now he was able to depart, literally die peacefully. 
But there's another reason. And the church acknowledges both of these things. Okay? There's another reason why Simeon said these words. Because he, he didn't just say these words, you know, and, and then, you know, he just died immediately. That's not what, the, that's not what we see in the scripture. He left the temple because he didn't have to wait anymore. He left the temple preaching and praising and glorifying God, which is the other time, the only other time that we chant this hymn or that we say these words, Nina Polis Tandulun Sudespada. When do we say these words? During liturgy? No. During Orthros? No. When do we say it? Esperi no. And we don't say it at the end of Vespers, at the beginning of Vespers. We say it right before the dismissal, right before the apolices. So the church is acknowledging a secondary reason for us to be speaking these words, which is when we come to church, when we come to the temple, and we experience, as you will today, the fulfillment of God's promises to us, because you will experience that today in the form of Holy and Divine Communion. When we experience the, and, and, and see the glory of the Lord in this way, we are supposed to leave the temple praising God, preaching, calling out to everyone else, saying, hey, hey, hey. All these, all these people that think the world is ugly and nasty and, and, and disgusting, and it, and it can be at times. God is also at work here. And we're witnesses. We are experiencing it. We are seeing it. We are knowing it. We are acknowledging the fact that God is not done with this world. He has not forsaken us. And if we would just open our eyes like Simeon did, Simeon could have said, forget it. Man, I'm over a, I'm over a hundred years old. I have been centuries I've been alive. And God has not fulfilled his promise. To heck with this, I'm gone. He could have said this. But he didn't. He believed that God would fulfill his promise. He, he believed that God had not forsaken his people. He believed won everything. And even though Simeon was not alive to see uh, triumphant raising Lazarus, raising Lazarus from the baptism uh, uh, in the River Jordan or in Christ, he was alive to any of those things that were. I have to see the see Jesus that God would fulfill all of these people to God had God had everything. He saw the future. We, you know, how the world, how it's going to play all those details. We need to play out all those details. That everything is in God's hand. And and we have everything's gonna end, it's gonna end. It's going to end with a look. A lot to get there. A whole lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a whole lot of sadness. We may have to go through all of that, and some of us already have gone through. But we know that the at the resurrection. And that's what that's what we're celebrating today. We're celebrating. This is it, as much as, as any other feast, a feast of hope. A feast, a feast of looking at the world, not pessimistically the way the Lord, the way the world does, but rather looking at the world and saying, God is still at work. Let's with him. Let's work. So that while we are still alive and while God is still at work, he can work with us, in us, through us and through and to the whole to the whole world because of that. The joy is not over. And this feast is such a hopeful one, patient one at that as well. So let us pray for the patient while still also praying for the joy that he received upon seeing it. May we have that joy today in this feast of the presentation or the encounter between Simeon and Christ. And may we have that same encounter as we encounter him, as we encounter him today in this divine liturgy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.